Experts are trapped underground by a strange network of tubes. It is made of stones and is 3,000 years old. It is in the Peruvian Andes. Scientists send a small robot with four wheels, a camera, and lights down a narrow path that is too small for a person to fit through. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to our channel. In today's video, we'll talk about how robots exploring an ancient mega temple found a subterranean maze where a dangerous ritual was taking place. So, let's start by watching the whole video. The results of the high-tech machine are horrifying. When robots were excavating this old mega temple, they discovered a terrifying ritual in an underground maze. John Rick of Stanford University says that the Shivanda heater site is part of a group of temples in the Andes Mountains that are higher than 10,000 feet. Chavin was built in a flood-prone area. They built toward floods, not away from them. The size was meant to impress people and show that the designers could beat nature. Near Chavin de Juanita, the Masna and Chexa rivers meet. The Chavin would have known Mount Winston, a snow-covered hill 150 miles from Blema. They went to the Holy Temple and the strange underground network to obtain their mysterious and sometimes violent rites. The ruins of these squares and buildings show how good the Chavin were at masonry. They were also good artists, and many of their forms were decorated with intricate stone sculptures. Some of the granite buildings are almost 80 feet tall and are grouped around a large plaza. However, the harsh customs are the most interesting thing about the site. Who put things in Conte? During Chavanda Juanita's rule, their whole way of life revolved around her. Experts say that three groups lived in the city, which became a religious center. The town had between 2,000 and 3,000 people and 100 acres. There are two main religious buildings at the site. The first one was built around 750 BC, and the second one was built 250 years later. The buildings in the original temple are set up in a horseshoe shape around a courtyard. Experts think that pilgrims put gift conduits in the land chamber, which would have caused them to close up quickly. The new temple is even more mysterious because it has stone carvings and a loud waterfall. Strange structures like these must have scared Andean pilgrims who went to Chavanda. Rick told the BBC in 2016 that Chavan is special because the priests left a lot of information about their religious activities in the temple reliefs, stone buildings, and tunnels under the city. This civilization doesn't last long because so many important events are lost. Researchers think that the staff deity was the most important god for the Chavan people. And there is a statue of this sacred force in Chavanda, who wants her own temple. People say that it stands for a good harvest, which is important. Such events could bring together more than 1,000 people. The worshippers were surprised when priests came out of hidden passages and played shell trumpets. Local hallucinogens made from plants made the experience even better. BBC Rick talked about how psychoactive drugs are used. Stone art shows people holding cacti and how they affect them. Herbal snuffs bother me. People who use drugs on Amazon have white eyes, are in pain, and use snuff tubes, tablets, and mortars. Temple builders made scientific progress. People traveled hundreds of kilometers to brag about their Shavin Dewanta rites in a cultish manner. Back then, it would have been a very long way to go. Rick saw this, and it makes us think that the people who came here were important. This was a cult for the new secondary elite, whose view of the world fit Chavin very well. People who went to the trouble of traveling to Shivanda Wonta were expected to bring gifts. Rick thinks that a pilgrim would have had more access to the temple's innermost chambers if the gift they brought was more elaborate. People may have even been asked to help build parts of the sacred buildings, since Professor Rick's team of archaeologists and technicians was eager to find out more about the mysterious Chavin people. Still, they wanted to check out the network of tunnels and channels that lie below the surface. Stanford engineering students came up with a way for archaeologists to use the Quest robot. The short film Rick from Stanford University showed how hard it is to be an archaeologist. To explore the Shivanda heater tunnels, engineers made two robots that can be controlled from a distance. Margaret Code, who has a PhD from Stanford, made a snake. 
The movie says that a lot of these places are hard to get to. Waimba is a pressurized tube with a camera at the end that can reach and inspect small spaces. A small robot with four wheels and a laptop that shows pictures from a remote-controlled car in the Stanford movie, Daniel Chan and Jack Lane built these Chavin rovers. He says, we think we can start to understand what the people of Chavin knew, what they were trying to do, and what their buildings were all about. These underground areas are very important, and it was time to see how much the Weinbot and the Chavin rovers could help with this search. In 2018, Chavin got its first Weinbot field code. She might be worried when she says, let's hope it works. When a new invention is used for the first time, the person who made it gets nervous, but it works as planned, snaking its way through dark corridors that humans haven't seen in 3,000 years. Now it's time for one of the Chavin rovers to show what it can do. It moves along a tube that is connected to a computer. When it sees something interesting, it sends him to the ancient pieces of broken pottery. Daniel Chan is in the middle of the line. In the 36 tunnels they had explored, they found three sets of 3,000-year-old people. These are the first Chavin burials ever found. Rick told the Daily Mirror in 2018, We have a terrible story. Rick thought that the ancient Chavin people might have been killed and eaten. Rick believes that the dead were given Rick told the Archaeology News Network that it was dishonorable to turn the body over and put rocks on top of it. Rick said again that these three bones helped find where Chavin died. Why would these people be killed by the priests of Shivanda? who want her. The ideas Rick has about what the Chavin elite believe are interesting. He thinks that our ideas now are like those of the ancient Chavin people. Knowing where power comes from can help you understand symbols and buildings. Rick told the BBC that many company or country presidents get to be in charge through subtle group activities, behaviors, and pictures that make people think they deserve to be in charge and make 1,000 times what their workers make. We believe in hierarchies, so it is possible that these horrible acts involve human sacrifices and religious freedom. Rick then went into more detail about what he said about the priestly Chavin elite and how important they are to us now. He talked about how the place was built to be great back then and is still great when we dig there and feel awe, privilege, and interest. Rick said, when you put something in the dirt or on the ground, the rituals keep going but not in the way they expected. The video for today is over. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.